one thing I wanted to bring up was just, um, I don't know, and I'd be really curious to maybe make this sort of a feature of our, um, as we go through these talks is uh, just maybe any like practice reports that people have of like, here's how I'm dealing with this imaginal stuff. Um, and um, I've talked before about like integrating um, dance with Meta and I've been doing that a lot. And yesterday um, I was doing that in a field near me and I was like listening to music and doing Meta and dancing and like, Usually when I do metal, I'll have like visuals of like energy shooting out of my body and like sending it towards specific people and I'll use my body to represent that. And so that was like par for the course. But then I got, I like had just listened to the imaginal talks again and like found myself having an image of myself as like an eagle and a bird and birds are often very, my, my last name means Birdman in German. It's like misspelled, but um, so I've often had like a connection to birds. And so this was very familiar for me and, um, not, not this particular image, but like, yeah. And then I started like dancing, like I was an Eagle and, um, and then from that, actually the, sh the, um, that combined with the visuals that I usually have of like love shooting out of my body and going to specific people where it was like, rather than I was sending love to people, it was like, a totally different vibe of like my emotions were uh, themselves the love that I had for the universe. And like, it was by just by expressing it with my motion, I was like radiating that love out towards the whole world. And in particular, like purifying the karma of myself and those that I love and like all living beings. And it had a like really different flavor than just like I am, it's kind of like a self other vibe of like, I am sending metta to you otherness, where instead it was like th this me dancing right here with this intention, like is already purifying the karma of the whole universe. <laughs> like, uh, like there's no difference between me and the universe. And it was just like, whoa, this came from this bird image, uh, like a totally different way of relating to metta. And um, yeah, that was extremely powerful. I wanted to share it and also just like, hear any re reaction to that or like also any just like other people's practice reports of like I tried this thing and this thing happened just because it's such a different territory for me like I'm pretty eager to hear any anything anyone has to share I love that I love it's that so image <laughs> and the view yeah that was great <laughs> mm. Oh, I wanted to mention mm -hmm. that reminds me just as well that I think I forgot this because it was like hard to notice almost, but somehow like I noticed, especially towards the end of this, that like my state of mind shifted where it felt like, I know I've done a lot of like non-conceptual stuff of like not thinking. And so it felt like that it was that. And like, I was like in my lower body, like my abdomen and my hips and my legs and like but there was something else that was like a little bit unfamiliar where it was like, by being there, I was like, I don't even know how to describe it, but like more open to receiving and expressing wisdom or something like that. Um, like seeing things in a wise way. I don't know, it was, it was like very unfamiliar, but basically I, through dancing and this like particular practice, it somehow entered me into a different state of mind that I wanna, like familiarize with myself with because it was there was a very specific flavor that I can't quite put my finger on that was like very different um and I want to like get there more often it was very astonishing that like dance and this image work like brought me there <laughs>